just to let you know what I've done here. Got my bulldog extruder and pieces. And what I've done is the extrude the bulldog came with this motor with these wires. The flash forge came with a plug. So I took the screws out the back of the motor. And the same there, one, two, three, four. And the motor separates there. This whole black bit and the end comes off. I did the same with this one. So that is the original flash flash forge front plate plate and this is the bulldog extruder motor. This is the bulldog extruder with the flash forge main body. When that comes off and that comes off, it takes the armature out with it. So I ended up swapping the armatures over and then was able to put the relevant black body back on because this armature has a little gear on it. So the, the Bulldog armature has a gear on it as the Flash Forge had the drive. Um, so that obviously had to take that off to get the armature out. So the front plate is the Bulldog plate. The front plate there is the Flash Forge plate and the motor bodies and innards have been swapped over. So that means instead of having this, I've got this and mine's a, mine's a heavily modified machine. It's got pusher extruders, Bowden extruders and the existing motors weren't really strong enough and they tended to jam. So I'm going to put a Bulldog extruder on. Uh, I'll try one of them and uh, see how it goes. So this is not a standard flash forge setup, but I believe these are the standard flash forge uh, connections and so anyone wanting to put a bulldog extruder on the flash forge is uh might find some of these useful although i do appreciate the mach machine is different <laughs>